Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, here we're going to go on our, um, well, just everything we've done. This is hemp seed flour. Um, it's whole, it's the whole grain or whatever you want to call it. And what I'm doing now is I'm separating out the whole bran part, you know, the whole. And, um, and then I'll regrind this and that's what took me to Walmart. And that's what put up the last little bitch video on my broken teapot. And I had to get a new blender because my old one died. And these are cheap blenders, like nine, ten bucks. I still recommend these things. Oh, it, it, doing the hemp stuff killed my oster. A real good blender. Um, these are disposable. When you you'll get nine dollars out of them. Trust me. Um, just grinding up crap. Um, but let's go over some of the ingredients and let's go over um, what the video is about. Um, there's bioplastic can mean like the corn bioplastic which doesn't actually degrade unless it's held over 140 degrees for like three weeks in a controlled environment which means it doesn't actually de degrade in nature it just degrades only in a in almost lab conditions um what we're going to do is we're going to make a biodegradable plastic and then we're going to make a bioplastic kind of like corn um which you could eat like salad bowls, stuff like that. Um, but, uh, we're not going to go for the film. That's a whole different kind of thing. And I can't, I couldn't find formaldehyde and, um, and I couldn't find methanol. There's a bunch of stuff that nine 11 is just ridiculously stupid about, but I, I guarantee you, I went through Walmart and you in, cause I thought about nine 11 and you can look at your MSDS. There's still stuff on the shelf that you can make a self-sustaining fire yeah i mean i'm pulled right off the walmart shelves but they won't sell some of the the common crap not even ace for that matter um it's just ridiculous but let's go through what we got new blender that is going to take this flour make it smaller when it's that time we got our sifter to to remove all the the bigger heavier the whole grains we have some of this just in fear that this wasn't going to work <laughs> is um we bought a actual product it's the same thing it's just hemp flour is we have uh, uh, vegetable gelatin, in which one I am not real positive on because all they list is is gelatin. So it might even be horse gelatin for that matter, and I might not use it. Is the um, this is the one, the carrion, carrion? It's the one with the um, the the seaweed. It's that it's that one. It's in. Um, it's also the locust bean gum. And here we have brown rice, the flour, but it also has, oh, several other, um, I think it has potato starch and some other things in it. The xanthium gum, the glycerin in the back. Uh, this is another one that's just a bunch of different starches. Uh, oops, there went my measuring cups. And yes, I'm going to use measuring cups, but don't hold, don't hold y'all's breath to getting ratios in the comments because it's not going to happen. Um, do your own work. The, we got cornstarch, we have um, citric acid, and that's about it, y'all. But like I said, there's two different types of bioplastics. One doesn't degrade, and one actually does degrade, and, and it's called home compostable. And um, I think, like, Australia is about the only one that does that in a film uh, so far that I know of. I, I mean, please put in the comments below if, if you know of all these other places that do film. Um, but other than that, that's about the only one I know of. And, um, but the, but here we go. Um, well, that's the basis of what we're going to start with. And from this is, like I said, we'll, we're going to make some pretty cool products. We're going to try to make an edible bowl for one. Um, and we'll go from there. I got a mold somewhere right there. I bought, we'll use this as the, is our mold to bake with. And, um, See if we can't come up with a salad bowl. Okay, talk to you then, guys. And it won't shut off. Huh. And my, my thing is broken, and it won't shut off, y'all. So, um...